Hi, Petey. Briefcase ain't here. He must have taken it with him. Oh, well, he's got to come home sometime. Oh, maybe we should trash the place, send him a little message. I don't think he's going to get that message, Joe. I mean, the guy's got worms in his living room. Well, well I got a better idea. I thought I'd throw a putty cat. Oh, I did, I did. Oh, come on, Harry. You're up. Gets worse, Lloyd. My parakeet, Petey. Huh? He's dead. Oh. Uh, oh, man. I'm sorry, Harry. What happened? His head fell off. His head fell off? Yeah, he was pretty old. Oh, that's it. I've had it with this dump. We got no food. We got no jobs. Our pets' heads are falling off. Hey, where'd you get those? I bought them when we filled up. Well, wait, but you, we're supposed to talk about all expenditures, Lloyd. We are on a very tight budget. Hmm. This didn't come out of our travel fund. Oh. No, I, I was able to raise 25 extra bucks before we left. Where did you get 25 extra bucks? I sold some stuff to Billy and Forsy. The blind kid? <laughs> yeah. What did you sell him, Lloyd? What kind of stuff? I don't know. A few baseball cards, a sack of marbles. <coughs> Petey. Petey? You sold my dead bird to a blind kid? Lloyd, that, that you, what do you? Petey didn't even have a head. Harry, I took care of it. Pretty bird. Yeah, can you say pretty bird? Pretty bird. Yes, pretty bird. Pretty bird. Polly want a cracker? Tomorrow on A Current Affair, inside the home of the Menendez brothers' attorney. And next, we'll be back in a minute with the heartbreaking story of the blind Rhode Island boy who was duped into buying a dead parakeet. I just thought he was real quiet. Who are these sick people? <laughs> 